I always get this all the time. They say, I have a girlfriend, I have a boyfriend, we made istikhara. Istikhara for what? Istikhara on haram? Istikhara doesn't work for haram, ya habibi. Istikhara, you've already made up your mind to go the haram way. Get out of it. Stop, repent, be sincere with Allah and be honest to be determined to lead a good life and watch how Allah will open your doors. But wallah, I stay in the haram. I'm going against Allah and I want to use Allah. You're a you user? You don't want to use Allah? Allah cannot be used. We can use people. We can lie to our parents. We can lie to our friends. We can lie to our children. We can lie to our spouses. But you can't lie to Allah. Allah watches everything. These people, let's talk about relationships for example. They follow the, what they see on social media and this trend of people having relationships outside of marriage in Islam, this is haram and forbidden. And then after haram happens, Allahu A'lam where it gets to, that's if Allah saves them from any diseases, billah. they get married. And as I've seen this happen a few times. People have come to me with this same help that they needed. And let's say they, they had a haram life. And when you have a haram life, it's not blessed unless you repent. If both of you repent to Allah, move back, stop what you're doing and be sincere to Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will exchange your sins into, ha into hasanat and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you after that. Allah forgives all sins. But we're talking about those who still justify and enter it through the haram. Those people will never trust each other when they're married. Those two who started off their relationship and entered into marriage through haram means they can't trust each other unless they repent. I'll tell you what happens. They'll be sitting at a restaurant together. Let's say it's their nice, he wants to, uh, you know, they had a fight or something and the husband wants to make it up to her and goes, let's go to a restaurant. They go and sit at a restaurant. Some lady goes past. He looks at her. She says, why'd you look at her? He says, I don't mean it. It's just whatever. She goes, how do I know? You're acting all religious now. He goes, it's haram for me. Look at it, haram. You already did haram with me. How can I trust you now? And he'll say, wow, you're not an angel. You let me do haram with you before marriage. How can I trust you? And this is how the shaitan comes in and separates them and makes it toxic. If there is no trust, there is no relationship. They started off on distrust. <laughs> the worst is when you get a Muslim, a Muslim, Muslim guy, right? He goes and befriends a non-Muslim girlfriend. He treats her nice and everything. When it comes to marriage, he says, you've got to convert to Islam. This is haram. It's Ramadan. She doesn't know what hit her. She doesn't know. You're supposed to know. And then now she's looking into Islam, trying to get, because she's in love with him. She wants to get married. Is that, is that a sincere Islam, is it? She's just doing it for you, buddy. No, I'm, I'm halal. I don't. And that's when she starts finding out that he's a hypocrite. How can you say haram all this time and you never told me? How can I trust you coming to the marriage? I was, I was in a non-Muslim, I don't know. Of course, if you repent to Allah and you stop what you're doing and you sincerely be, make a determination to change your life for the sake of Allah, perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open your doors and things can get fixed. Inna Allah Allah forgives all sins.